Vor langer Zeit lebten die Menschen glücklich und zufrieden. Niemand bemerkte den Schatten, der sich langsam über ihnen ausbreitete. Sie zu erlösen von ihrer sterblichen Existenz, den Anbeginn einer neuen Welt vor Augen. Die Dunkelheit trübte ihre Sinne und das Böse fraß sich tief in ihre Seelen. Vom Wahnsinn getrieben schmiedeten sie einen Pakt mit dem Teufel. Dracula, der Fürst der Finsternis, Herr des Teufels Schlosses, ist auferstanden. Just kidding. Today, we're gonna go see The Last Journey of the Demeter. I love Dracula! Ak, 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 ak. Okay, so then caption this, uh, me and the girl I get because I, uh, like Dracula! And she would also like Dracula! And maybe, and maybe if there's a girl watching this that also likes Dracula, you know, Okay, caption, n new caption, new caption, new caption, okay. Uh, this could be us, but you're playing. I'm, I'm gonna go see Dementor, Voyage of the Last, the, of the Forbidden Sea. Well, boys and girls, it looks like it's that time of year again. But Ben makes their journey to the local AMC to hand out money to the only films that deserve it. But time is of the essence. Will Ben be able to make it in time for the screening of the Boat Dracula movie? Stay tuned to find out. The curse, the curse of the, the curse of the, of the, if these cars don't hurry up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be late to, I'm gonna be late, I'm gonna be late to, uh, go faster. Go faster! We're gonna be late. I, I'm not a, I'm not an improv guy. I gotta think of yes and. Okay, so there's a vampire on a boat. Uh, okay, uh, and uh, and also there's a character named Peter Griffin. I remember I took an improv class. This is, a, this is a true story. I never did anything. I like never said a single word the entire class. They had to force me to like join the improv circle. And uh, on the last day, they did like an improv show for all like the parents and stuff. You got a name out of a hat and you had to act out that thing. And you had to stay on stage until the crowd guessed your character. And I got, <laughs> looking back, and this is the funniest thing ever, but as a like stupid ass kid, I was just like such a loser. I didn't do anything funny with it, but I got the joke. <laughs> and uh, oh, off. Are you see that car? Okay. Giant truck just actually tried to kill me for no reason. So we could get to the fing Wind Dixie. That's why I'm so good at improv. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not an improv guy. My... I'm just gonna flex, you know, the, the you know, writing skills of a professional screenwriter on Letterboxd. Uh, sort of poke fun at the uh, absurdities of making a, another effing horror movie based on Bram Stoker's Dracula. Dracula, and just dancing on the grave of the recently deceased uh, Boris Karloff. You know, just such a total disgrace to his memory. One year after he died, they released this move. You know, it's just they couldn't even wait. They were just they were they were waiting so so excitedly for the legend the legend the legend of the bat to to pass into the mythol the canonized. Uh, history of cinema rather than its breathing contemporary living organism and at the moment he's gone boom what do they do they 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 shit out a movie called uh the legend the legend continues a boat of a vampire on it and you know it, it's it's hollywood that's and and that's hollywood some Dracula just sprayed water all over my car. What the hell? The city of Baton Rouge, Louisiana would like to issue a public warning about a rampant Dracula spraying water on cars. Again, there is a rampant Dracula spraying water on cars. Please be advised. 
Okay guys, we just uh, got to the, the local AMC theater and uh, it's time to, uh, to, to go see the movie, um, the, the, the Last Call for Dracula. Let's, let's beat this out. All right, boys and girls, while Ben watches the movie, let's ask the fans. This is a new segment where we get our man on the street to ask our fans what they think of the movie in real time. Without further ado, take it away, Kevin. Have you guys seen Larry? Hey, have you seen Larry? Hey, have you seen Hey, have you seen Larry? Hey, have you seen Last Voyage of the Demeter? What's up? I'm Mr. Business. Have you seen Last Voyage of the Demeter? If you saw it, I have it. No, I've had it. Okay, who gives a shit about it? It was real. 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 I'm fing Kevin O'Leary got shark day. Hey, have you guys seen Last Voyage of the Demeter? Have you guys seen Last Voyage of the Demeter? No, I'm Mr. Business. Do you guys watch YouTube? No. I have a billion dollars. Kevin O'Leary. I'm like a big Hey guys, look up Sir Chancellor on YouTube. 1,000 subscribers. I'm Mr. Business. Respect my name. I'm oh my god. You don't get no business. You don't get no money. Stupid bro. I'm business. I'll spit on you and run away. Look, I want to present a product to you, bro. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 let me see. Let me see. Alright, look, 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 like, peep this, alright, look, look. Yeah, yeah. yeah bro, you ever been in a situation where you needed a dice and a bottle of water, bro? Alright, the fans are kind of stupid. Well, I just saw Dracula Port of Call. I gotta say, if I know one thing, it's that I hope I, 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 I never, I never meet a, I never meet a Dracula. But at the same time, let's just say, if I was on that boat, things would have gone a little bit different. All right, uh, Port, uh, Demeter, uh, Demeter, the. This isn't even a bit anymore. I don't even know the fucking name of the movie. Uh, BJ's. Wait, what? Dude, I'm gonna go eat there. Let's let's go. All right, guys. So basically, uh, the new movie, uh, Call of the uh, Demeter, is uh, it was too scary. A bunch of people left uh, when I saw it just because they. I mean, they couldn't handle uh, some of the stuff it was saying. Uh, cause it, it wasn't just scary, it was, you know, it said something, and, you know, they couldn't, they couldn't take it. Um, it, I mean, it had deep commentary on Dracula. Uh, so, basically, my thoughts on, uh, Dimitrov, uh, commentary on Etsy was that it was kind of... Yeah, I mean, it, you know, people just weren't ready for it, I think, and you could really uh, kind of see that in the audience reaction. Uh, you know, for example, that a lot of people really didn't get uh, that, like, Dracula was um, was actually uh, the, the werewolf monster from Harry Potter. You know, people people weren't really aware of that, and I think it, it threw some people off to have, you know, when you present someone, I mean, this is basic psychology in terms of uh, debate, but when you present someone with, uh, uh, you know, something factual that maybe they don't want to agree with, you know, they'll just continue to dig the hole deeper for themselves rather than accept uh, the truth. I mean, people don't want to accept the truth, which is that uh, Count Dracula in historic times was actually a uh, weird werewolf, a, a kind of a kind of a like freak, freak. Uh, so when, so 
someone, someone like this filmmaker, and someone like the, the writers uh, who wrote Bullet Train and Escape Room, that's real. Those are the guys who wrote the movie. When someone presents you with that kind of uh, counter narrative, then, I mean, it's all over. I mean, he, he lives in shadow, uh, but no one ever stopped to ask. Uh, maybe he doesn't like to be in the shadows. Maybe he looks not like a guy, but like a, a, a pale mole rat of some sort. History is written uh, by the winners. Uh, and, you know, who is the biggest loser in history other than the Draculas, the Dracula family? You know, all they ever did was get, you know, stabbed. Uh, they got burned because they, they went outside during the day. There's a new uh, book from Eastland Red's uh, publishing division, Histra Books. Uh, they just published the book Stalin, uh, History and Critique of the Black Legend, uh, the first official English language translation of that book. And you know, it's sort of the exact same thing. Maybe a lot of people aren't going to like this film because uh, it's actually really unique uh, the way that they, the filmmakers chose to present this film. Uh, I was just, I was discussing this with the projectionist. I always, after seeing a film, I uh, wait outside of the projection room and uh, go up to the projection guy and ask if I can please, 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 please talk to him since they wouldn't hire me, you know, it's only fair. They were telling me about this, that the filmmakers actually requested uh, that the lights be left on in the theater, which, you know, while I was watching it, I was like, this is actually kind of really annoying that they didn't just turn off the lights. And, you know, because it's actually a really visually quite dark movie, and you, I mean, literally could not see some of the image because of the lights were still on, and the shadow, I mean, it was just, you could not fucking see the screen because they forgot to turn off the lights. Uh, but it turns out that's the, the way that the filmmakers uh, requested to uh, present the film because, uh, you know, it was, I mean, it was just too, too scary. Uh, people, when in the test screenings, people asked, you know, hey, can we get some lights on in here? Uh, I want to make sure there's not a, a Dracula behind me. Basically, all in all, I'm uh, just really excited for the upcoming uh, Dracula, at, at Dracula water park tie-in. Uh, you know, uh, hey guys, uh, I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to, uh, interrupt them for a second uh, I'd like to talk about something that is uh, really important to me so when you uh, ask someone to edit your video with no pay uh, you need to follow what I call um, Nutra's three rules of editing so the first rule is uh, don't film your videos vertically on a cell phone. The second rule is uh, if you're gonna like riff or go on like rants or like ramble or something, uh, make sure it makes sense so that the editor can uh, cut together a, co a coherent video and uh, isn't left uh, wondering what the fuck they're gonna do with uh, all of this basically useless footage that you gave them. And uh... Rule number three, um, uh, make sure you pay your editor. Uh, yeah, that's all. Just make sure you pay people. Uh, I'm not being paid. Um, and when this video gets published, I am going to pay myself. Okay, bye. PJs. Let me, let me break it down. I wish that I was born a thousand years ago. I wish that I sailed the darkened seas on a great Demeter ship going from Dracula to the... going from Romania to England uh, with a Dracula on board. And I guess that I just don't know. And I guess but I just don't know. Dracula, be the death of me. Dracula.
So my final thoughts on the last last fight of the vampire is basically that um you know there's there's a million ways to die inside of Dracula's castle a million ways to fail Okay I have, I have a new uh, I have a new caption uh, to add to the video but you have to add, you have to add it after I say it cuz it's like a, a punchline um okay so me Dra me nothing could be worse than if dracula was there uh okay wait no 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 okay okay wait i got it okay i got it uh okay uh therapist dracula and frankenstein would never team up and that's that's not real and then uh the caption the image is dracula and frankenstein teaming up when i get home